Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. The Black Lives Matter movement began as a social media hashtag. But as time went on, the injustices against African-Americans began to really concern the public. The BLM movement began with a small group of protesters who were angered by the death of Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, and Eric Garner. But this quickly grew and became a powerful group of people whose main focus was wanting to create change. The BLM movement was not created to disrupt society or indicate that black folks were anti-white. It was originally used as a slogan to show people the injustices that many black folks were facing in America. Hello, this is Lovely TTV and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. So Kanye West certainly knows how to cause a stir and go viral instantly. If you guys didn't know, today the 45-year-old rapper was presenting his Yeezy Season 9 collection in Paris, France. And he went viral globally for what he had on. Kanye West decided to show up wearing a black t-shirt with the slogan, White Lives Matter. And on the front of the t-shirt was a picture of the Pope's face. Several models in the presentation also wore various designs and on the back of their shirts also had the slogan White Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. On top of that, he also had conservative pundit Candace Owens. She attended the show as well and she wore the same shirt. But of course, her shirt was white with black lettering that said White Lives Matter. So while they're at the show, Kanye West gave a speech where he basically said, that he is Jay and everyone here knows I am the leader. I am Jay. Yes. And everyone here knows that I am the leader. We are the streets. We are the culture. Yes. And we will not be bullied or treated differently than you treat any other fashion show. He never really addressed the White Lives Matter slogan, but in a recent Vogue interview, he did say this. He said, you know specifically that in this fashion context, I see myself more as George Lucas than a fashion designer. There's just people from the same planet, and sometimes in high school, I feel like I don't fit in. And in situations like this, we have the opportunity to come together and express who we are. So that's what he said in the Vogue interview. And now it looks like Kanye West is definitely facing a lot of backlash. People on Twitter were definitely upset. Folks drug him all day. But a lot of big names also called Kanye West out as well. Um, Jamel Hill said this. So many folks are trying to excuse Kanye wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt as just a troll move or marketing Maybe it is, but it's a dangerously dumb message to send for someone with a massive platform. I've been off this dude. But y'all go ahead labeling his foolishness as genius. Watch the Throne, who also goes by the name at Kanye's podcast, says, Seeing Ye and Candace both in that shirt hurts my soul. Whatever nuance there was as a part of his fashion show pales in comparison to seeing someone who is politically destructive and reprehensible standing there with yay, emboldened with that phrase. At Medium Size Mitch says, Every three months, Kanye West shows y'all and tells y'all he doesn't care about the black community. Yet and still, y'all be right there at Sunday service buying every G.I. Joe boot and every piece of raggedy fabric that he drops. Sad. Keith Boykin says this, Kanye West after Katrina, George Bush doesn't care about black people. Kanye West after he married Kim Kardashian and became a Trump supporting Republican. White lives matter. Van Lathan also said something as well. So somebody named Manifest, Manifest McClinton says, at Van Lathan, do white lives not matter? At Manifest McClinton, we don't need a reminder of the worth of white lives. America is a shrine to the worth of white people. This message is reactionary to a message affirming the worth of black lives, which have never been worth anything in America. In its intent, 
it's a white supremacist notion because it posits that we can't have a conversation about the worth of black people without having a conversation about the worth of white people, which is effing insane. The notion that it always has to be about white people in America is incredibly frustrating, emotionally draining, and the whole problem. But here's Kanye West apparently centering that notion. Another person named Blue Alexa says, Kanye West making black models wear White Lives Matter shirts is a combination of his anti-blackness and immersion into white supremacy ideologies and methods. Disgusting. Now, what was even crazier is that after all of this controversy, Boosie also weighed in and so did Jaden Smith. So this is what Lil Boosie had to say. At Kanye West, after all we've been through as a race and you put this disrespectful shit on, you give no fucks about how black people have died and suffered to the hands of the white man and you say Bush don't like black people? Really, nigga? So that went viral all over Twitter as well. And then on top of that, Jaden Smith, who really speaks out, also had something to say. So Jaden says, mm -hmm. I can't stand behind what Kanye West is saying. He does not have the full support of the youth. He then goes on to say, I had to dip, LOL. He says, true leaders lead. I don't care who it is. If I don't feel the message, I'm out. Then he says, black lives matter. So clearly... Everybody is feeling away about this whole Kanye West situation. Mark Lamont Hill also said this. Kanye West's decision to wear a White Lives Matter shirt is disgusting, dangerous, and irresponsible. Some of y'all will rush to defend him. You should ask yourselves why. So on top of these three men speaking out, a lot of people on Twitter had things to say as well. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out the following tweets. So as you see, a lot of people had things to say about this whole Kanye West debacle. Twitter was on fire today. So I pose the question to you guys. How do you guys feel about this entire situation? Do you feel like, you know what, Kanye West and Candace Owens have the right to wear that and that is their prerogative? Or do you feel like Kanye has just been doing the most recently and you guys are not down with how he's expressing himself? So make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and share the video. And also make sure you still subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.